Technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning are disrupting the way customers interact with companies. And the modern customer expects speed, responsiveness and streamlined experience, regardless of the channel they choose to interact with businesses. Companies have to take the advantage of new technologies to deliver better personalized and relevant customer experiences. In the telecom industry, consumers will expect mobile operators to build a more meaningful relationship and improve the customer's experience through digital technology. Ericsson's Consumer and Industry Lab set out on a mission to conduct a consumer insight report, interviewing 7,000 smartphone users. And this study represents over 700 million people. Today I'm here with Patrick Hedlund. He's a senior advisor, Consumer Lab, and Thomas Kinman, and he's the head of solution line analytics and assurance for Ericsson. And they will be sharing more about their findings. Patrick, recent report shares consumer pain points when interacting with telcos. Can you outline these for us? Thank you, Ronald, for the question. Yes, indeed, we have conducted a consumer research across seven markets where we have interviewed more than 7,000 people on those markets. The satisfaction dropped by 30% after the first day of delay in interaction. This is something that service providers need to take seriously and also develop strate strategies for. And how are telcos addressing this today? The telcos are addressing this today mainly by digitalization. But unfortunately, when we look at the study, we find no major difference in terms of attempts and time taking and satisfaction when we compare consumers that did the more traditional way of doing the interaction with the ones that used digital channels. And based on your report, what does the future look like? The future is something we call the zero touch vision, where we see that more and more interaction is done through voice, gestures and other ways. For example, through smart devices like the Amazon Alexa. On the other hand, we see the introduction of artificial intelligence and smart services that will anticipate the consumer's needs. In that way, the consumers wouldn't really need to contact customer support in the traditional way. The telecom service provider should know what the consumer wants in the first place. So in that way, the interaction will be based on something we call the zero touch vision, where things will be fixed, it will be intuitive, and the relationship will be more relevant. Thomas, how can telcos use data to improve the customer experience? Thank you, Ronald. That's a good question. Uh, as you can see from the new Consumer Lab report that was released today, uh, the consumers have higher expectations on the service providers to anticipate their needs and also to fix any experience issues before they even happen. And of course, this puts a lot of the demand on the service providers to be up to date on what's happening in the network, but more importantly, understanding what type of impact that have on the customer's experience. And they need to use all the latest and greatest technologies out there, like advanced analytics, real-time streaming, uh, artificial intelligence techniques. But of course, all of that needs to be uh, with the telecom expertise. Uh, and uh, I think that's, that's where the challenge becomes. How do you, uh, you know, use all of this together? And here we see that Ericsson can, of course, help the service providers. And uh, we do exactly that in a solution which we offer that is called Ericsson Expert Analytics. Thank you, Ericsson, Patrick Hetlund, and Thomas Kinman for the conversation. If you'd like to learn more, please see Ericsson's report at the link in the text below. I'm Ronald van Loon, and this is The Intelligent World. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and get notifications of my new video.